This is a Witchspace News Special Bulletin. I'm Commander Burr. Frontier just dropped some more answers to the content creators regarding both Elite Dangerous and Odyssey so we're going to run through those answers just now for you. If you enjoy this video remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and if you'd like to support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. So here we go then. The issue of PS4 players having trouble deploying fighters and SRVs has been raised specifically and the community team is investigating what the situation with the reported bugs is and is looking to get a response. If and when we hear anything about that we'll bring it to you in one of these bulletins. A question was asked regarding limitations that would prevent a player from exiting their ship or SRV in Odyssey and proceeding on foot. The answer is essentially anything that will kill you so the temperature being too high or too low or the local gravity conditions being too high or too low. Your SRV still affords you a degree of protection but once that's gone it's your suit doing the work of keeping you alive instead. Then the conditions required for your survival change. It was further clarified though that just because you can't walk on a planet because of the local conditions you can still bring a ship into the atmosphere, land and then drive around. Frontier have also confirmed that players will be able to walk around inside the current Thargoid ground installations and players will also be able to walk around the current Guardian sites. Access to Odyssey specific planets will be handled in much the same way as access to Horizons planets were in the previous iteration of Elite Dangerous. That's to say if you don't own Odyssey then you can't land on an Odyssey unlocked planet. Frontier have confirmed also that whilst no changes to the balance of the current pantheon of ships are expected before Odyssey releases in a post Odyssey world a balance pass on the existing ships utility and performance is something they'd like to revisit. And in the regular Super Cruise News livestream this afternoon the community team revealed that not only will this Thursdays livestream feature the return of Twitch drops which grant in game items to those that watch the stream on Twitch but the stream will also feature community favourite and creator of the Stellar Forge system that essentially populates the galaxy of Elite Dangerous Dr K Ross. And on the stream Dr K will be talking about Elite Dangerous Odyssey. That stream is expected to kick off around 7pm UTC this coming Thursday the 18th of February. That's all the answers we have for you right now. As soon as we get more information we'll post it here so make sure you're subscribed to the channel to ensure you don't miss anything. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then, 07 Commanders, follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.